Right, I'm at the headphone shop in uh, Nakano, Tokyo. And uh, we're gonna take a look at the different IEMs and headphones that we sell. Okay, so here's uh, some denim. These are the wireless earbuds here, denims. And uh, they have some Bang Malifs in here as well. Sony's uh, Campfire Audio as well. These are pretty new. You think I, knew, I didn't know that Campfire Audio has wireless earbuds. But, and denim too, I didn't know. They have all wireless earbuds. And there's some new Sony's. There's some 1000 XM5s, that's the newest one. And XM4s, which is the old model. Uh, tried XM, actually, I haven't tried XM5s or XM4s. Only had the XM3s. These are Audio Technicas. Yeah, there's a lot of different Audio Technica voice canceling models. These ones are pretty cool, actually. Yeah, so the Audio Technica the wireless earbuds here. So, wireless earbuds, nor I don't know this brand. It's Japanese. Have some headphones there. And there's Final Audio stuff. Um, Final Audio is Japanese. They have some even Dragon Ball branded stuff here. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball. That's cool. And uh, Evangelion. Huh. Interesting. So, yeah, some Final Audio stuff here. Marshall, of course, makes wireless uh, earbuds as well. It's short. Guy Wolfson. Debulet. Gemini 2. Interesting. Here we have Jabra's. Jabra had your wireless earbuds right there. Mostly Bluetooth models, of course. That's what Jabra's known for. Jabra, actually, they have Noble Audio Focus. It's a Focus Mystique. Like this, you can see in Barry Dynamic there. Oh, they even Fender. You know, Fender has wireless earbuds too. Huh? That's cool. Cool file. Here. Interesting. So there's a bunch of brands I don't know about. Oh, how some are we? Okay, interesting. I didn't know they had. Some Phillips. Cool. Here we have more full size headphones over ears. We have Audio Technica Monster Hunter Edition. Interesting. And Audis. Here we have uh, Sennheiser. Just some Audio Technica Focal Bathies right here. And uh, Epos. Epos. Yeah, I don't know. That's a, I don't know that brand that well. And uh, Sure. Sure. Sony is that 1000 XM5s. Yamaha's. Epos. Epos. Final Audio UXC1000. I wonder why the screen's like that there. Okay. Final UX 3000 Audis Penrose. Interesting. Just, uh, Audis is taken over by Sony now. Sure. And then we have more Audis Mobius, Sony, Bear Dynamic, um, Tago Studio, I don't know that brand, Apple's, Sennheiser HD 660s, HD 650s, 660s, and AKG, Shore, Focal, Final, T Audio, interesting. Sony, Rode, I don't know this brand. Pioneer and Sony Hi Fi Man HG 400 and then Sony AKG. Well, that's a classic AKG K702. In here, we have uh, Unique Melody Sony's Shores, Shore, Aroma Audio Figure. These are all going to be smaller brands because they're IEMs. Fio, of course. Astol and Kern, Merman, T Audio, Moondrop, those are Chinese brands. Uh, C Audio, Chinese brand. Noble Audio, Astol and Kern. Files, Shanling, Q oh, QB Ears, yeah, these are all like Chinese brands, except for the final. Yeah, there's Apple, of course. Audio Technica, Apple, Audio Technica. Denon, Debulet, Edifier, Final, Final, Final Z8000. Actually, do want to try these. Noble Audio Focus Mistakes. Do want to try those as well. And Falcon, Jabra, Sony, Inair, Victory 
Yamaha. Sennheiser, Sennheiser, Momentum, True Wireless. Yeah, I tried these before, they're pretty good. Unique Melody, I should mix one. Interesting. Technics, also mix one. I didn't, haven't tried the Technics before. Might be good. I'm just gonna take a look at these again. This FH11. Okay, Maestro. Oh, these are more over ears. Sure, sure, sure. Grotto. The Grotto's a little clean. Right here, Hi Fi Man. Mark Levinson, 5909. Interesting. I haven't tried this before, I've heard about them. Sony, 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 Sennheiser, and Momento Falls. Yeah, I'm wondering if Momento Falls alright. I've tried this. Uh, I actually prefer the Bowser Walkers PX7 a little bit more. Then you have the Sony DAPs right here. These are the Walkman DAPs, Walkman DAP, Walkman DAPs right there. They have more Momento models, all the current 50. Oh, more Focal Bathies. These are pretty famous. Bathy's are alright, I tried them before, probably one of the best wireless over the years. Yeah, now the Piazza with the PX7S2, that's one I have. PX8, I haven't tried those. They might be better, they're more expensive. Bang Olufsen, we're not liking the Bang Olufsen HX too much. Bose, Yamaha, Hi-Fi Man, Bose. Okay. Cool. And then, uh, here is the DAPS. So the little Aston and Kern. SC300, SC180, I have the SC100, SC200, 180, SP2000, Can Max. Okay, that's current players right here. And these are Ibeso, 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 there's so many Walkmans down there. The top end Sony Walkmans, I believe. Yep, the WM1Zs. And the Kayan. Sony, Sony, Sony. And I so I haven't tried any I I but I've heard they're really good. Luxury and precision as well. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, those are the taps. Full size. Headphones. File in 15, M15, 11 plus M15. These are Ibasos. Get more shores and stuff. And the final E5000, E2000, 5000. 64 audios right here. I haven't tried any of those. Noble audios right here. Noble audios. I've only tried the cons. The Acoustic Tune. Right here, Roma Audio. I haven't tried any of these. It's campfires. I only tried the Campfire Solaris before. Do the audio and try those files. No, try any file items. Files, Empire Eros, Meze. And uh, the files, files, Meze here. JVC, interesting. Let me try that. Fact audio, Fact audio, Aston Kern, Aston Kern. Cool. Let me try any of these. These are all brands I don't really know. Looks up for sure. Shanley. Sennheiser, Sennheiser. Shin Sony's. Vision Ears. Okay, I know that one. Let's show her. Both West Tone, West Tone. That knows. Sony. Soft Ears. Soft Ears. High Five Man. Techniques, techniques, techniques. Let me try those. Some more items. So we got uh, what, fit here, fit here, JH audio, JH audio, JH audio. Uh, UM, L U M J H audio, fit here, campfire audio, 64 audio. Yeah, I'm trying most of these, of course. 64 audios, I'm trying to use those. Ears. Fit ear, fit ear, Miro. No, I haven't tried any of these. Okay, that's the IM section. Oh, there's a USB C DAX. I had the UA2. Oops, and then UA3. Okay, so I fi. And 
Okay, so quest I'll do some of these. And these cables, right? No, these are headphone cables, or I am cables. We have uh, amplifiers here. File Q11, audio engine. Okay, so I didn't know audio engine made one. <laughs> Fio, Fio, Fio. I have a Fio K7. And bigger headphone amps. I Fi. Yep, the Zendak. DSD, I Fi Audio. Stacks. Ooh, let me try some stacks. Stacks, stacks. Let me try getting stacks. There's a huge Yamaha there. In mode, or render. These are really expensive. Lumens. These are like really expensive streamers. Or render. Or render. Lumen really expensive streamers. There's a Fostex amp here. And then my file K7. There's Sony DMPC1. Wow, look at this size. The hi fi man. Amplifier. These are crazy. In mode and hi fi man. Crazy. Luxman. Oh man, look at the huge Luxman amplifier there. That's insane. Fostex. You know, Fostex made this many amplifiers. Cord Electronics and Kayin. Yeah. More full size. These are open air headphones. T Audio Ghost. Monolith. Bear Dynamic. DT 70. I really like the 1990 Pros. Those are one of my favorites. I have the T1s. I do have, have the second generation, not the third generation. So that's cool. I have those. I really like the 109 Pros if I can afford them, but they're pretty expensive. And uh, Res Imperium, Tungsten, Boot, the Audis, LCD5. I really want to try those, but I've never tried them before. That's the flagship for Audis. Dan Clark. Yeah, I'm like stealth, Kalina, and try to use. These are Austrian audios, I heard they're pretty good. I haven't tried them. Austrian audio. Focus Celesti, Yamaha, Stalia, Utopia. Yeah, I want to try the Utopia. That looks really cool. Utopia, Sennheiser, Sennheiser, Data Technica. Which I think the thousand with the eight, the addition was not bad for me. This is I really want to try those. Never tried those. That's cool. Amanda too. Eight audio cables. Sennheiser, Sennheiser is a QDC, Campfire, Dunu, Mulberry. West Tones, West Tones, Cord, West Tones up there, Pogrom Audio, Cayenne, Shanley, Aston Coons, and Lotus. Oh man, okay. It's a new Aston, some new Aston Currents SC300, SP3000, and low two Poggle Touch. Let me try those. Shanley. Luxury increase. Oh, Luxury increase is in P6 Pro. That's really expensive. The Cayenne N82. Yeah, pretty expensive stuff. Let me try those. Fire, Sony, Sony. More Aston Currents. Uh, more decks. There's a more decks here. Cord, stacks, cord. Aston Kern, Acros. All 1000, I've seen these before. Denon. Well, designer audio, that's huge. And uh, Violectric, Sony, and TIAC. Pretty bold. Man, these are really expensive stuff. Wireworld. Man, there's a HE 1000 hi fi amps which I tried before, they go pretty good. I think I still prefer the Meze though, 109 Pros. Hi fi man, hi fi man, hi fi man, Sundaras, Sennheiser and HD 5950, Sony MDRs, Sony Shore, Shore, 
Aquaman JVC Titan Studios. I'm trying to name those. Cool. From the Sennheiser HD 800S. Heard a lot about it. Never tried it. HD 820, 820, 820. I heard these are the 800s are really good. I'm trying them. And then there's a uh, lesser Sennheiser here, HD 650s. I have tried the 650s. Uh, I'm not really my thing, I think. I think I prefer the full cow e Lexus over the HD 650s. 660s. 660s is all Sennheiser's. Yeah, and there's Grotto. Oh, I'm trying to use Yamaha. I didn't know Yamaha made something like that. That's cool. I'm trying it. Oh, I really like this one. TH610 Fostex. I think I kept one of them. And then I was deciding between that and the Dan Clark. Fostex TH900. I haven't tried or TH909. I haven't tried this one. Ultrasome. Ultrasome. I haven't tried these. Ultrasome. Ultrasome. Yeah, I'd like to try some of these fall sticks at some time. Because I like the TH610s. The final D8000, I want to try that one too. That's a really expensive one too. D8000, the full call Utopia. And Elex, which is actually a really nice headphone too. And Elegia, which I didn't really like as much. Elex was pretty good. I didn't like the Elegia as much. Oh, uh, Stacks. I really want to try Stacks. Never try Stacks. Meze, Meze. As a, you know, the Fostics, which is a purple color, that's cool. That's like a custom. Oh, I'm trying to use 1774. I haven't tried those. T1 second gen. I have those ones. I have the T1 second gen. I get you, I get you. That's pretty much it. Okay, cool. Well, that's a whole lot of headphones and uh, audio stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it. DCS. Oh man. That's really cool. It's super high end. Oh my god. High ends is a crazy high end tube amps. Wow. That's crazy. And here we have uh, different ear tips, it looks like. We have Send a fit, max, send a fit, send a fit, send a fit. Right, does that similar to spin fit? I don't know if send a fit that model, but they have a bunch of send a fit models here. Yeah, I think I'm mostly familiar with comply and, and spin fit. The JVC's got a similar one too. Let's so have a section just for ear tips. Alright, we're gonna look at more headphones, earphones, and stuff today. So let's look at what they have in this Japanese store in uh, Fukuoka here. So we have a Sony 1000 XM5s, which are currently the flagship Sony wireless headphones with noise cancelling. Tried these before. Um, I think they're pretty good. The noise cancelling is top notch. Just wish they didn't have so much bass. They're very bassy. Um, then there's the XM4s, the previous generation, which are actually better in some ways because they actually fold up. Um, but this is the XM5s do not fold up. And then these are the other Sonys that I haven't really tried before. The XB910, CH720, CH520, I've not tried these before. The JBL Tor 1 M2, I've not tried any of the JBL headphones. So can't talk about the sound quality, but they look pretty nice. Oh man, these are like really... I don't know why anyone would buy these. <laughs> these look like toys. The on-ears really like look like, they look like toys. I don't know why anyone would go for on ears over over ears. Just spend a little bit more money, more money and get over ears, right? If you're gonna go with like full size, might as well go over ears. I don't know why people would buy on ears. And then this is a. Uh, it's also this AKG. I've not tried these AKGs. They're pretty cool though. Um, these ones, not sure. I'm not sure. This is a AG. Not sure what brand that is. This is Kenwood. I've not seen Kenwood in a while. That's a Japanese brand, but I've not seen the Kenwood products in a while. 
Again, these are on ears, so they don't look very good. You know, I mean, the, either the drivers are really too small and they don't look comfortable. So I avoid on ears. Skull candy, I usually avoid skull candy. <laughs> yeah, I usually don't think skull candy makes good, very good stuff. It's just more like, I don't know. I think of skull candy as more like, you know, this Walmart kind of brand. Sennheiser HD 450s and 350s. I'm not trying these. I've only tried the Momentum wirelesses. So I'm sure these are good, but um, in terms of sound quality, but I'm not sure about noise cancelling. And then these are uh, Audio Technicas, which are usually pretty good for what you get, uh, the what you pay for. So usually Audio Technicas are very solid for the price. Just avoid these on ear ones, I don't know why. Again, people would buy on ears. They look uncomfortable to me. <laughs> and they, the drivers look so small. Yeah, I'd rather just get a little, pay a little bit more, get some over ears if you're going full size. Now these are famous, the ATH M50Xs with Bluetooth. Is, these are already pretty famous when they're wired, so I'm sure the Bluetooth version is pretty good too. And the M20, I haven't tried those. These ones, yeah, I've not tried these. They have a lot of techniques. Look at some of these um, wireless earbuds too. These are Audio Technicas, a TW X9 360 Reality Audio. I haven't tried those. I've heard good things about them. I just don't like the little tips. They look like AirPods. I don't like the AirPods type of look. This is the CRK70 TW. Again, I haven't tried these. Yeah. Again, Audio Technicas, you really can't go wrong. These ones look pretty cool too. Um, they don't have the little ear pod type tips, so I think I like the design of these They're Audio Technicas. The CKS 50 TW is a little bit better. Also the colors are pretty cool, they have the blue one. Nice. These ones, again, another model of the CKS 30 TW. They have nice colors, like, I don't I haven't tried them, but they're pretty nice colors it looks like. Now these ones look really cute. <laughs> these are the uh, SQ1 TW2s, okay. So again, they look really small, so audio quality is probably not very good, but they look very fashionable, <laughs> at least. They look almost like earrings or something. Very fashionable looking. Yeah, so, and then uh, CK1 TW. Yeah, I don't think these are probably as good as any of the other ones. They look a lower end. Yeah, these are the audio technicals. They have a lot of different uh, wireless options, it looks like. Let's go over here and take a look more. We have Elecom here, which I don't know too much about this brand. Pretty small though. Chabras. Okay, I haven't tried any Chabras. Uh, these are Aviots. We don't know this brand very well. They come in a lot of different colors. Aviot, this is an interesting carrying case. Yeah. Beats. Uh, Beats Studio Buds. They really come in this small pill form factor here. No, oh, man, that looks really cheap looking. Um, I've not tried Beats since the 2013 year Beats, so I've not tried any Beats in like 10 years. <laughs> so I can't speak about the quality of these, but I'm sure they have a lot of bass because that's what Beats are known for. Studio Bud, Studio Bud Plus, which is actually a pretty cool case in the Fit Pro. Just, uh, this is more of a standard Beats logo, I remember. Soundcore. Soundcore is a Chinese brand. Um, I think they're known for uh, giving you a lot of value for the price, so I'm sure these are actually pretty good for the price. They're not very expensive. So I think this is Anchor's brand actually, yeah, Anchor Soundcore. So Yang Anchor is well known for giving you good value for the price. And these are actually styled, they look like Beats logos actually. <laughs> Funny, I think I tried to copy Beats. And then the Sennheiser Trim Wireless 3s, which are one of the best sounding uh, wireless earbuds you can get on the market right now. I have tried these before. Um, yeah, so the in terms of how good uh, wireless earbuds can sound, yeah, here we go. Yeah, they're probably one of the best on the market. Um, not cheap, but definitely in terms of sound. This noise canceling could be better, but I think in terms of sound, they're one of the best on the market. Bose Quiet Comfort Your Ultra Earbuds. I've not tried these. I do like uh, they look pretty stylish though. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm sure the noise canceling is good because it's Bose. Not sure about the sound quality though. JBLs, Live Free, I've not tried JBLs, They're pretty good. I've only tried the speakers, I haven't tried any of the headphones or earphones, there's more JBLs. True Pro 2s, whoa, they have like a little screen on here? They have a little touch screen on their, uh... oh, that's cool, they have a little touch screen on their case here, that's, that's high tech, that's cool. The Sony Link Buds, which are basically the lower end version of their wireless earbuds. 
Oh, these are the high-end versions, the XM5s. Yeah, these ones. Yeah, I've not tried the XM5s, but I have tried the XM3s before. Those were my previous pair I had years ago. And yeah, the XM3s had good noise cancelling, but just have too much bass. So I wonder if the XM5s are like that too. They probably have the really good noise cancelling. They have LDAC, right? But, um, and they have, they're water resistant, I guess. But it's just that I wonder if they have too much bass, because that's what uh, happened with their previous earbuds. And these are the XM4s, the previous generation. Well, that's what the XM4s look like. I've not tried the XM4s either. But, um, yeah, I, have, I mean, Sony gets good reviews most of the time. So XM5s, I'm sure it's still like top of the line noise cancelling earbuds. If you're looking for wireless earbuds for noise cancelling, Sony's pretty top of the line when it comes to that. Along with Bose Quiet Comfort earbuds too. Yeah, I wonder to look at the comparison between these two. Because Bose and Sony usually has the best noise cancelling on the market. But I usually prefer the Sony sound signature a little bit more, although they both have a little bit too much bass for me. Uh, Audio Technica's, TWX9's, yep, saw these actually. But uh, interesting case actually. <laughs> Looks like a little pouch. And then the CK50 TWs they open up like that. Hmm, pretty cool looking. So, yeah, Audio Technica's really can't go wrong with those. Usually not too expensive. And now, let's look at yours. Uh, more Sony SM4s here. Link Buds, which are kind of the lower end Sony's. I haven't tried Link Buds. Uh, I think if you're going for Sony's, you're probably going to go for the XM5s, which has those little flagship wireless earbuds here, and the XM, or the XM4s. These are more, this is the J, uh, JBL Fur Buds, which are really cool because I have that LCD screen on the case. And the Bose Quiet Comfort Earbuds here. Now here's the uh, Aviots, and then here's the Nobles, which are pretty cool. The Focus Mystiques. I've not tried the Nobles, but I had heard good things about them because, you know, they're actually an IEM company. So, yeah, they should know a thing or two about sound quality when it comes to earbuds. But I'm not sure. I've not tried the there are wireless earbud options, and Bang & Olufsen I've not tried either, that's a BO play. Although Bang & Olufsen in my experience has been always more style over substance. The Nothing Ear seems pretty interesting, in terms of the, the design they're definitely distinctive and unique, but I don't know about the actual sound quality. Uh, here I'm not sure, EA, oh yeah and the AirPods obviously, very very popular. And these are Technics, okay. I do have the Technics AZ60, so they're pretty good um, if you can get them at a discount. I wouldn't pay full price for them, but at a discount, the Technics are pretty good, actually. Uh, with decent noise cancelling. So I think these are the AZ60. Yeah, those are the same as I have. Yeah, if you can get them a little bit cheaper, I think they're actually pretty good. And the AirPods, obviously, very, very popular with everyone. Um, Falcon, Noble Falcon ANC. Yeah. I'm not trying to need the... Nobles. They have a Focus Mystique, which is their flagship one. They're very expensive, actually. Their Focus Mystique, and then the Falcon ANC. I'm not trying those. Marshalls. I have tried the Motif ANC. They're not bad. Um, just they didn't. Their audio quality didn't quite match up to with my uh, Master Dynamics or my Final Audios. But uh, I think it wasn't too bad, actually. Especially when you get them at a discount. The Marshall Motif ANCs, as you would expect, they're actually really good with rock music and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, not a bad option at all if you can get them at a discount. Uh, and then uh, the Audio Technicas, what is this, Bose? No, okay, I'm, this one is Jabra. I have not tried the Jabras or the Bose. Yeah, yeah this one more Sony's, I have not tried these. The Sony like pill shaped ones, the Audio Technicas. Again, the case looks pretty cool, but a little bit too big. Chokes. I've not tried these before. JBLs. Yeah, I've not tried those before either. Uh, Choppers, Adobe Atlas. I've not tried those before either. Chopper uh, V8. I've not tried these. So I've not tried any of these Sony XB 700s, Shabbers, I've not tried these, I've not tried these. And then um, JVCs, I didn't know JVC made earphones, but not tried those ones either, Trim Explorers, uh, Soundcore, those ones. Okay. Aviots, again I haven't tried Aviots, these audio technicals look pretty cool. 
I'm um, trying those Sony C500s. Politic. I'm um, trying these. Marshall Audio Technicas. These are Avions. They look very close to the Audio Technicas actually in terms of the design. I wonder if the sound is similar. You know, more Avions, Nobles. This is TW400s. Yeah, I wonder if Aviots is this Japanese brand. I've not heard of them before. And JVCs. Yeah, JVCs you definitely don't really see outside of Japan very often. They seem to be Japan only. And then this is, uh, I'm not sure what these are. Yeah. Yeah, JVC is definitely one that's more Japan only. And JBLs again. JBL, JBL. I've not tried too much of JBLs. Soundcore. Again, I'm sure they're pretty good for the price. I haven't tried those AG, I'm not sure what that brand is. Um, you know. Oh, this is the final audio. Z2000, I haven't tried it. I do have the Z3000. And the Z3000s are actually really good uh, sound quality. Uh, only thing is they don't have noise cancelling, but the sound quality itself is pretty good. So yeah, Z3000 for the sound quality, um, highly recommended. And then the AZ40s, I think these are Technics. Yeah, I, I prefer the AZ60s for that. Air Pro 2 Alicom. I haven't tried any Alicoms. Don't know too well about that. I get AG as well. Technics. And then more JVCs. I haven't tried any JVCs. They're usually Japan only. And Technics. Um, again, I only have the AZ60s. I've tried the AZ40s, but the AZ60s are pretty good. You can get them at a discount. Audio Technicas. And more. And these are Sennheisers, which I haven't tried these models. And then Beats, right? Not Beats. It's uh, Soundcore, which looks like Beats. more audio technicals so these are these are the ones that go on your ear yeah, over your ear so I think these are better for workouts to so stain your you stain your uh, ear better vocals and the feathers open fit and the feathers yeah these are ones for running I guess if you're active these will be better again avions I haven't tried those because again, I like the colors of these. They're fashionable. I'm not sure about the sound quality though. So many more audio technicals here. I'm trying these. They're all very colorful. And the, the Technics actually have a lot of different colors too. That's very really cool. Um, the colors. The colors on the Technics are pretty cool too. Yeah, I haven't tried them, but man, all these audio technicals and Technics have a lot of good colors on their cases at least. Um, the Sennheiser yeah, True Wireless 3s, which are really good in terms of sound quality. Fun Audio Z8000. Now, this is a top of the line final audio wireless. And I've not tried these. So, I'm curious what they sound like, but I think they're just the E3000s with the noise cancelling in a much bigger case. Where's the sound? As you can see. So, yeah. I've not tried them, but yeah, I'm always curious about the Z8000s. So, this is the final audio's top of the line. I think it's, it is the C3000 sound with noise cancelling, so I think these are probably pretty good. So, Chabras, I'm not trying these. Sennheiser, Chabras, Sennheiser. The Master's Voice, interesting. This is, a, this is JVC, right? This Master's Voice, because that's a Victor company thing, RCA Victor. So I wonder if these, these are JVCs, right? This Master's Voice, that's coming from... Uh, the Victor Company for RCA. Interesting. Canal Works. Um, this is a Japanese company that makes uh, mostly fitted IEMs. Pretty expensive. So, so nice. Canal Works. You don't really see them outside of Japan, so it's pretty interesting to see them. They can be pretty expensive though. They're like ultimate years of Japan. Fitted and then. Six Jabra Techniques. Yeah. And then we have Beats. Beats. Not really too into Beats, but if you're into bass, obviously they're a good option. <laughs> There's Sony's. Sony's up there. I've not tried these over years before. See, interesting though. There was Audio Technica's R70X and M70X. I have tried the R70X 
which was uh, okay. It was not like the best in that price range, but it was okay. Pretty decent in terms of the reference sound. Um, to me, it was like a, maybe a little bit too um, veiled, I would say, compared to the other ones I tried. And then there's the wired in-ears. JVCs, again. I've not tried these ones, they look pretty cool. But JVCs, again, um, don't really sell them outside of Japan. I have tried these ones. They're a little bit too bassy, though. These, uh, these particular JVCs with the wooden finish. Yeah, a little bit too bassy for me. But, uh, yeah, and Bose, Bose Quiet Comforts and uh, Noise Cancelling 700s are the ones I've tried. Really good noise cancelling, but the, maybe a little bit too much bass in terms of sound. Yeah, again, I think the JVCs, these ones a little bit too bassy, and the Bose are a little bit too bassy for me as well. The Meze 99 Classics. I always wanted to try those, but didn't get to try those. They look really nice, though. Yeah, 99 Classics. Marshalls. Um, not try the on-ears. Yeah. Actually, I haven't tried any of the Marshall uh, over-ear headphones or on-ears. I've only tried the Motif ANC Wireless. But um, I think this should be good for for rock music. <laughs> Sennheisers, over-ears, more Sennheisers. I've only tried the Momentums and the Moto 4 Wireless. So they, they're pretty good. Sennheisers in general give you really good sound quality. HD, oh yeah, I have tried the HD 650s. Yeah, um, definitely very uh, neutral. So if you're looking for a neutral set of headphones, the HD 650s are a good bet. Um, just like a little bit too veiled um, compared to some of the other car. Like not enough clarity, but in terms of being neutral, there's probably the best in the 560s I haven't tried before. And the wireless. Yeah, I haven't tried any of these models. These were sure. I've not tried any sure models. Yeah, they look pretty interesting. I haven't tried any. Sure earphones. Obviously, I am sure is really good at that. 535, 425. Uh, I've tried the 215s before for sure. Yeah, I think the sure 15, the sure earphones. You can't really go wrong with the uh, IMs because sure really pioneered IMs. But I've not tried a sure in a while, not in a long time. And then Z3000. I'm not tried those for final audio. I have tried the B3s because I have the B3s, which are actually pretty good. But uh, on any of final audio stuff, it's actually really good. So for the sound quality. Soundcore by Anchor. Yeah, uh, Anchor makes these uh, Soundcore headphones. They really the logo looks a lot like Beats. So sometimes I mistake them for Beats. Because look how close the logo looks to Beats headphones, right? But uh, it's actually Soundcore by Anchor. <laughs> they really try to copy the Beats logo in design and everything. There's a more Soundcore. I think these are trying to copy AirPods. Yeah, basically, and these ones are trying to copy both. The Sleep A10, that's a copy of the both Sleep Buds. You know, Chinese brands are always so good at copying, right? <laughs> copying like Apple, Bose, and uh, Beats. Yeah, this is like copying Sony's, I guess. Light Q35, Space Q35, it's trying to copy Sony here. Sony's design, but these ones, Space One, Space One. Oh man, he's like copying the Power Beats. Yeah. <laughs> More sound chorus. This is the true wireless versions, right? Sound core. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't good earphones. I've heard a lot of good reviews about Anchor stuff, and I like Anchor stuff, but yeah, the copying of the other company's design is rather blatant here. It says Liberty 4 noise cancelling. They have so many products, too. So many. Space A40. Yeah, these are all like. These ones copy the AirPod style, and these ones copy the uh, the ones without the stems, which is basically a lot of a lot of earphones have the this version without the stems. <laughs> yeah, so they actually have different copies of different designs depending on what they want to do. <laughs> it's like the AirPods version and the non-AirPods version. Yeah, more like AirPods. This is like again Beats logo. It's so similar to Beats. Yeah, out of my wireless earbuds, I think only Audio Technica and um, Apple have the stems. But then, yeah, a lot of the uh, other brands, they don't have to, they don't have the stems. Like they're more like this style. 
Let's see what's over here. So this is Audio Technica. I have the TW X9s. They're pretty good wireless earphones. So I have those. TW X7s is the next step down. There's more Audio Technicas here. Audio Technica, Audio Technica. Um, TW X7s. TW X9s. Highly recommend those. It's really nice. The SQT12. They look really cool. I don't think they're as good as the TW X9s though. So. CKS 50, CKS 50, 30. JBL. I wonder what they have. I haven't tried any of the JBL wireless earbuds though. I wonder how good they are. I haven't tried any of these. Flex by Harman. My free tier TWX. Yeah, I haven't tried any of the JBL wireless stuff. I wonder how good they are. What is this stuff? Noise cancelling wise? I don't know what brand that is. What brand is this? I have no idea what brand this is. Oh man, look at those cases and stuff like that. I'm in a Don Kirk studio. Kyote, by the way. Um, these are wired, right? Audio Technicas. They're wired Audio Technicas. Look like lightning cable. Lightning cable. These can't be that great. They're like 2280. Well, they're like about 20 bucks. About 20 bucks for those. I mean, it's Audio Technica, but like, yeah. I wonder how good those are. <laughs> no name brand. Smechi. Oh, there's an audio adapter. Let's see. Audio Technicas. Oh, these are about 30 bucks. The audio technicas. These are very cheap over ears. Or in, actually on ears, I think they're they're on ears. Now I got more sound core by anchor here. Touch bone, those are bone conduct bone conductor ones. It's me right here. <laughs> Run free. What is this brand? I have no idea what this brand is. What's with Asians using Western people for advertising anyway? Um, yeah, Western people are better for advertising. I don't know. They always use Western people for advertising. Oh, solid bass. Man, those can't be that great. If they're gonna push up the bass that much. I guess it's more mainstream listening. These are the cheap Sonys. Really cheap looking, actually. I'm sure they're like way, still way better than than a uh, built-in, you know, whatever uh, earphones you get. From a package or something like that, from a yeah, a box, but still, these are all very cheap ones. Why is your bones? Yeah, it's got to be pretty cheap ones. Noise canceling, no name. Wonder, yeah, look at these no name, Muzzy. What the heck? Yeah, no idea what these are. Movio. What kind of brands are these? Never heard of them. I'm not sure what these brands are. What is this? Same color as a. Uh, Looks like the same color as um, some bubble tea drink or something, some tapioca drink. I have no idea. Some some no name brands going on here. Air Force Sound Pete's. Okay, never heard of this brand. It's Chinese. Seems like it's Chinese or something. Sound Pete's. Yeah, using Western people in their advertising, as always. Shocks. What's this brand? Yeah, I don't like the style of uh, of earphones that wrap around your neck, but they're for people who work out. But I personally don't really like it. You know, Audio Technica makes them, of course. Chiro Touchbone. It's using Western people again. Oh look, at least it's using Asian women. No, yeah, you're using some Japanese guys. That's better. And I want to see all Western people and some Asian companies advertising. It's weird. And JBL Live. JBL Tour 1. Well, Audio Technica again. Audio Technica. Love very cheap ones. Yeah. <laughs> Never tried these. These are too cheap for me. JBL TuneSoft. Audio Technica is Audio Technica. Street Monitoring. Audio Technica. 
Yeah, these are Sony's. Sony, Sony, Sony. Sony's. W1000XM5s. I'm familiar with those. And XM4s. Pretty familiar with those ones. They're alright. They're popular. Really good for noise cancelling. I mean, Sony's really good for noise cancelling the technology and features, but um, the bass is a little bit too much for me. Yeah. Oh, look at these Instax cameras, are pretty cool. I like those. I think they have some. Uh... Oh, yeah, these are GoPro. Hero 11 Black Max. Um, Insta 360. I think this is a brand that makes 360 degree cameras. It's the 360 Go. Never tried them. This is a, yeah, this is a. I wonder how this compares to the Osmo Mobile. Interesting. I haven't tried any Insta360 stuff. Looks like they're competing with GoPro and uh, Osmo, DJI Osmo. Noble Falcon Max. I don't see that too often. That's what I mean. Those are streaming pretty good. Bose. Audio Technica, Audio Technica. I have those ones, of course. JBLs. Technics. I used to have those. They're okay. Marshall Motif, I think. Not bad. Those final audios. Z8000, I always want to try those. Yeah, okay, Galaxy Buds, whatever. Nobles. It's cool to see Nobles, actually. You don't see that too often. 1000 XM5s, I haven't tried those yet. Um, Technics AZ80s, actually, I haven't tried those. I've only tried AC6, AZ60s. Mm. Momentum True Wireless 4s. Actually, I've only tried the Momentum True Wireless 3s. So I didn't know that the 4s were out. That's cool. Those were pretty good sound quality. Elite 10s, Elite 8 Active, Bowers and Wilkins. I wonder what models these are. Bowers and Wilkins. Bowers and Wilkins make some pretty good uh, wireless earbuds as well. Ooh, Devilet Gemini 2. I've always wanted to try those. Really expensive, but I've always wanted to try those. Um, don't know any of these ones. Oh, there's a finals again. U3. Unique Melody makes wireless earbuds. I did not know that. I thought they only made wired IAMs, but. That's interesting. We're going to try the Unique Melody ones too. Z8000 Mark II. I also want to try those. A lot of cool, interesting wireless earbuds here. I definitely want to try the Debulets. The Technics, that's a new one. I didn't know the Unique Melody made one of those. Yeah. Uh, and the Noble Audio of Falcon Max. So pretty cool. Pretty cool selections I don't normally find in other places. What's this one? There's more Sony's. Oh, these are more... Um, Lower level earbuds, I guess, JBL, Cusso, I don't know what that company is, Finals. These are kind of lower level. Yeah, those are not as good. Beats Fit Pro, Beat Studio Buzz, I haven't tried any of those. Probably you can guess what they sound like. AirPods, AirPod Pros, Audio Technica again, Audio Technica, Sony, Intuance, Shores, huh, interesting. I didn't know uh, Sure still sells these these ones, huh? And Sure makes a lot of good wired REMs. Uh, what's this one? Oh, no, no, JBL. Oh, okay, here, Bose. Or Bose. I haven't tried Bose's latest ones actually. Shocks. I don't know Shocks well. I didn't know his master's voice made wireless earbuds. That's RCA Victor. Hmm, interesting. That's uh, this is Anchor Soundcore, I think. MP. Good stuff here. Nope, don't know any of this. This is what, 1000 XM5s? I haven't tried those yet. Yeah, I can guess they have pretty good sound quality. Um, well, pretty good noise cancellation. Sound quality wise, I don't think they're going to be up to the Nobles or the Geminis or even the Master Dynamics. They have Dragon Ball Z wireless earbuds here. That's really interesting. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And Google Pixel Buds Pro. Yeah, those are all right. Not great, but all right. And Sennheiser. I haven't tried those Sennheisers. Yeah, I'd be eager to try them wireless. Uh, the Sennheiser Momentum 4s I just saw. Those would be pretty good to try as well. I haven't tried those. Now these are pretty interesting. These Sony SRS NV10. They're kind of like these are like shoulder speakers. Yeah, so Sony ATA and Seven. You just put these on your, you put these on your uh, shoulders, and then they, they kind of emit sound around you. Um, 
they're kind of a niche thing. I don't really know why people would use these over like I guess they're more comfortable than headphones or could be more comfortable than headphones but at the same time they're not as isolating as headphones are so I don't really get the point of these too much. They're kind of for a niche audience. Yeah, at least uh, they have a lot of these like shoulder speakers. Yeah, then you have more Bluetooth headphones here, JVC. Yeah, I don't get the point of these hold. I know Bose has some as well. Bose has a companion, one of these shoulder companion speakers. Sony has one as well, of course. Yeah, I don't get the point of these. Like maybe if you want to listen to something in private, but not too private, I guess. I'm not sure. Like, yeah, I guess I get that they're more private than a typical speaker, but they're not going to be as noise isolation. Not no, not going to be as private as headphones either. At the same time, I guess it could be more comfortable than headphones. So I don't know. I haven't really tried one of those. Well, the Technicas. Toshiba still makes Toshiba makes head earphones. I did not know that Toshiba made earphones. Interesting. I actually don't even know what Toshiba does anymore. <laughs> like they don't make computers anymore. They don't make laptops. They don't make hard drives. What do they do now? Like, this is all. Uh, Cheaper earbuds, I think. Yamaha makes earbuds. I wonder how the Yamaha earbuds are. Are those going to be similar to the Audio Technicas? Yeah, Yamaha makes earbuds here. Sony. Sony makes all kinds of stuff. Yeah, never seen these ones from Sony, but they look cheap. JBL also very looks very similar to the Sony. Very colorful. These Audio Technica ones I've seen a few times. They look colorful. Not sure if they're good though. Yeah, and there's some of these other ones, Soundcore, something, Earphone, those sound like Chinese. What else is this? More Aviot? Never heard of that brand. Technics, of course, I know. I know Technics, Sony. Technics is Panasonic's um, high end audio brand. Radius, Jabra. Oh, I know Jabra's. Yeah, I haven't tried any of them, but I know Jabra's. Audio Technicas. Yeah, no, oh, these are pretty cool looking. I don't know what they are. Yeah, I don't know what brand that that is, but look cool. Aviots, Soundcore again, which kind of has like a Beats type of logo. Like always gonna confuse the Beats. The logo is so similar. Soundcore, RCA Victor. Never expected RCA Victor to be making wireless earbuds, but they are. <laughs> so RCA Victor in Japan, aren't they just JVC? Okay, earphone, earphone, earphone. Yeah, I don't know. No, these are nobles. These should be pretty good. Falcon agencies. Yeah. Okay, what are these? Anchors, okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, a lot of them. There's more Sony WXM5s here. Ghost Cry Comfort Ultra as well as Ghost Ultra Opens. Again, I was curious about his master's voice, sorry. He's RCA Victor. Why the two buds? I had no idea they were making those. Technic Sony Beats. Actual Beats, not Soundcore. Audio Technicas. Yeah. And then you have like these cheaper Chinese brands and stuff like that. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff here. JBLs. Oh, I have these Bowers and Wilkins PX8s. I have those. More Bowers and Wilkins. And these ones PX7 S2. X7S2E, that's new ones. Nice. Sony's 1000 XM5s, Marshall's Final Audio UFC 100 2000, I haven't tried those. Sony's Audio Technicas, these are all cheaper Sony and Audio Technicas. What's here? Wow, Audio Technica, let's see, Shore? Which Shores are these? I, haven't, I don't know those Shores. Aonic 50. See, I don't know all these. Bio play. Oh, that's Bowers and Wilkins. I mean, Bang and Olufsen. Get them confused. Bang and Olufsen's. Yeah. HX. Yeah. Those are not that great. They're overpriced. I mean, they're they're good, but they're overpriced. Um, you know, Audio Technicas. These are all Audio Technicas. Oh, Quiet Comfort Ultra. So I've always wanted to try these. The Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra. So that's a new model. JBL Live. I've tried the previous noise cancelling 700, which has good noise cancellation but not very good sound quality because it has too much bass. Uh, the the M50, the Audio Technica M50. I didn't know they had the Bluetooth version, but that's those are pretty highly well regarded for the price, I guess. Uh, let's see, old model Sony Marshalls again. I haven't tried any Marshall over ear headphones. I've only tried their wireless 
uh, ear, uh, ear earbuds, but not their over ears. Hmm. Okay, that's all. That's the anchor sound for this. What's over here? Oh man, these are really cheap looking ones on ears. <clears throat> and the sound core, sound core is JBLs. And uh, oh, there's a Bose, Bose Quiet Comfort, all Quiet Comforts. All right, cool. Man, a lot of stuff over here. Bluetooth speakers for the Marshalls, JBLs, Bose. Out of these, um, I actually like Bose for the portable speakers, but I know JBL and Marshall also make some pretty good ones. Yeah, I mean they're all they're all pretty good actually. Um, I just happen to have a Bose because they actually do make good uh, portable speakers. Sony makes portable speakers here, pretty good. Creative, that's the Creative um, Pebble, I think. Yeah. Oh, look at this, Sonos. That's uh, Bang & Olufsen with their overpriced, but great, great, uh, great design, but overpriced stuff. Harman Kardon with their really unique speaker systems. Harman Kardon. Bowers and Wilkins. The Zeppelin, I think. Kef. LSX. Oh, okay. Those are nice speakers, but overpriced. Zeppelin, I haven't really listened to that. Fender. I didn't know Fender makes speakers, but they do. They look really cool. They look like guitar amps. Just like how Marshall makes their guitar spe uh, Bluetooth speakers like guitar amps. Denon makes Bluetooth speakers. Denon. Really cool. I didn't know Denon made Bluetooth speakers, actually. Sony. Oh, what's this? SRS Sony. Tivoli. I like Tivoli's products. They're pretty nicely styled. I have my Ruark Audio, but if I didn't have my Ruark Audio, I might go have gone for Tivoli. What are these? Bermudas. That's really cool. Those are really cool speakers. I don't know these ones. Is this an audio engine? Oh, that's an audio engine. It's pretty cool. Um, I always heard audio engine makes good speakers. M Audio is for monitoring, studio monitoring, JBLs. JBLs are pretty good. RCA Victor again. Didn't know that they made Bluetooth speakers. Edifier. Chinese brand. Oh, these are all Bluetooth, portable Bluetooth speakers. These are cute, right? They look like small radios. This one has a bear head. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, this one has a bear head. Turn. Yeah. These are more JBLs. J JBL, JBL, JBL. Yeah, it's cute, right? The JBLs, they're cute. Oh, these are like... Yeah, boombox. So here's a Sony 1000X and 5, and oh, the 1000X and 5s so are both the wireless earbud and the over ears. And then here is more Sony wireless earbuds. Yeah, this is a uh, JVCs, which you usually don't find in Western countries as much. Yeah, more Audio Technicas. Audio Technicas are very popular in Japan. You hardly don't see that many Audio Technicas in the West, but they're definitely popular in Japan here. And same with like JVCs as a brand, you don't really see much in the West, but you do see them in Japan more. Uh, I mean, not that much anymore. JVC used to be much more popular before in the West, but not anymore. You got Skull Candy. Oh, audio Technica. More Audio Technica here. Yeah, a lot of Audio Technica here. More Audio Technica, solid bass. No, no more bass. There's so many mainstream bassy headphones and earphones. Sporty kind. Mm, this is like this is more for the sporty kind, I think, where you need to like latch it onto your ears when you're doing workouts and stuff. I don't really wear those too much. Aviat. I don't know what, what brand this is. It's a Japanese brand? Aviat. I don't really see it much in the West. Uh, what's this? Yeah, I don't know this brand much. It's Master's Voice again. I've never seen that outside of Japan. It's uh, RCA Victor. <laughs> For some reason, making headphones, making earphones. This is uh, Victor again. Uh, Victor is a brand that I've 
don't really see in the West. I didn't know that they made earphones. They're a very old brand, but it's interesting. Victor is popular in Japan. It's a very old brand, though. It's RCA, basically. A more audio technical here. Shocks. I see Shocks a lot. I think Shocks is like a Chinese brand or a cheap Japanese brand here. The sound core by Anchor. The more earphones here, Audio Technica, Audio Technica. Audio Technica. More Audio Technica here. So many Audio Technicas. Eco Sound. Eco Sound, I don't know that brand. Sony, the cheaper Sonys. Uh, these are only $15 for these Sonys. Very cheap. High unit. Little Bird. What's this? Pure Standard Series. Panasonic. And it's a very cheap Panasonic. It's like less than $10. It's only $7. Wow. Really cheap Panasonic. Yeah, more expensive Panasonic would be marketed as Technics. Maxell. Maxell. Panasonic again. What are these? Oh man, it can't be that good. They don't look that good. Air. Cheap JVCs. Very cheap JVCs under $10. Cheap Sony's, $10. Gummy headphones, oh man. These are the headphones that you would buy when you're a student with no money. <laughs> you buy these when you're a student with no money. The gummy headphones. Uh, oh, final audio. Okay, these are final audios. I'm gonna try these soon, VR3000s. Those look good. But yeah, these are all final audio headphones. That's nice. You, we really don't find finals outside of Japan often. You had to basically um, buy them online when you're in the West. Nagaoka, I didn't know they made headphones. They're more known for phono cart cartridges. So yeah, Nagaoka makes earphones, I have no idea. I thought they were ma only making phono cartridges. I uh, don't know what this brand is. They're pretty interesting though. Oh yeah, JVC with the wooden headphones. These are their more expensive ones, I can tell, because this is over $200. So I'm curious what these wooden earphones are like by JVC. And these are final audios, which are all pretty expensive. Final audios are really nice. Um, I, they do make cheaper stuff, but yeah, uh, a lot of this stuff is is like I would say pretty good quality and not not super expensive, but definitely not like that cheap either. Yeah, like these are probably their cheapest. These 1,000 is only 25 bucks. But they can go pretty expensive too. Like, um, yeah, these E2000 CS, $400. Um, actually, sorry, I'm, I'm reading these wrong. These are uh, $440, not $400. Reading those wrong. So, yeah, some finals are pretty affordable. But they have expensive models too. Yeah, these ones are over $138, $170 for those. <clears throat> yeah, so final does have. Uh, some more expensive stuff for sure but they also make uh, pretty affordable stuff same with audio technica actually and i find with most japanese brands jvc as well audio technica say so sony audio technica jvc final all these audio brands they they make cheap stuff like affordable stuff and they also make expensive stuff so they just cover the whole range it's not like uh, western brands they usually focus on one segment but uh, not for Japanese brands. They really just focus on the whole spectrum. These Audio Technicas, yeah, a little bit, $30. Actually, not too bad. They're still pretty affordable. What's this, Radius? Yeah, I don't know what these are. Like, but the, this area has like more well-known brands. Audio Technicas, JVCs, Finals. And this is Beats by Dr. Dre. I think everyone knows this brand, right? Beats Solo. Solo 3, I haven't tried any of these, Beats Studio Pro, I've only tried the Your Beats, which are kind of the older in-years, and Beats Studio Pro is the most expensive. They're usually very bass heavy, so I'm not really that into them. I've only tried the Your Beats because they were free and given by my previous company. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, everyone knows Beats, but they're not really for me. Yeah, so, Beats Studio, Beats Studio Pros. And the more Audio Technicas here. I think these are more same stuff, more Audio Technicas. XX JVC. Okay. DR, JBL, Sony's, Sony's, more Sony's, JBL's, Philips. 
Yeah, this Phillips is pretty cheap too. JVC. These are actually all pretty affordable. They're all under $50 actually. So like all the cheap Audio Technicas and JVCs and stuff. Yeah, and Sony's. Yeah, these are all pretty affordable earphones. And they have ear tips. I'm guessing finals should have, yeah. Final ear tips are pretty well made. I usually get them on high-end high IEM brands, supply final ear tips. So final makes pretty good ones. Um, then we have some by this Radius brand, Sony makes ear tips, Audio-Technica makes ear tips. Yeah. And then we got some other brands for ear tips here. These are Sedna EarFit. Sedna EarFit is pretty good as well, I've heard. And Fine Fit by Audio-Technica, Sony, Final Audios. I generally stick to final audio for um, for ear tips. I think they're pretty good. Yeah, so these are all final audios. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for here. Here we got more Sony's here. Sony, Sony, Bose Quiet Comfort. Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra is a new one. I haven't tried it yet. Bose Quiet Comfort, Marshalls, Final Audio UX2000. It's pretty cool. Oh, Audio Technica, Audio Technicas. These are pretty much all Audio Technicas. The M50X is very popular. I think that's probably the most popular model. M70X, I haven't tried it. I've tried the R70X. Yeah, I've tried this one, R70X, but not the M70X. And then some more Audio Technicas, more expensive stuff are here. Yeah, so this is pretty much all Audio Technica on this side. Audio Technica is just crazily more popular in Japan, way more popular in Japan than the West, I think. Uh, you have final, more final audios here, UX 2000. Yeah. Nice. And yeah, these are Sony. Sony's are pretty well known everywhere. Um, Marshalls, I've seen some people wear Marshalls, yeah. Marshalls are decently popular. They're not as popular as Sony's though. And then Audio Technicas are way more popular in Japan than in the West. Same with finals. Yeah, there's more Sony's here. More Sony's. Mm, let's see here. Oh, these are DAX. Really cool here. We've got a FIO K1, that's their entry level DAC. K11 dongle DAC, K13. K17 is their newest one. <clears throat> I've always wanted to check it out. Okay. I have the K5, actually. This is a really good one. I have the K5. Haven't tried the K17. My friend really likes the K17. That's really pretty powerful for the good good price, lots of power. And um, Q11, haven't tried that. No oh, high bees are here too. Oh, I haven't tried any of these high bees. Are these Shanlings? I think no, no high dits. Okay, I haven't tried any high dits. Sony's are here. Oh man, okay, they have the wooden JVCs. I've tried these before. I've done a review on these ones before. Pretty bass heavy. Actually pretty V-shaped. And then this is a very expensive headphone, the Audio Technica Oct. I have this one, very, very expensive. It's their top of the line close back. The AWAS, I've not tried this one. I've always wanted to. I've tried that one. And uh, Audio Technica WP900, I've tried those. Pretty nice looking headphones, a bit underwhelming sound for me. Then the Z1R. I've always wanted to try these. They're a bit too expensive for me. They seem to be very bass heavy from what I've read, but I have never tried them. Yeah, so uh, I've tried the Oct. This one is a little bit too heavy on the upper mid range for me and way too expensive. It's uh, really nice looking though, but way too expensive for me. Um, Sennheiser HT660 S2. I haven't tried those. Just, uh, it would be interesting to try sometime. This is the Sennheiser HD 800S, very, very popular and expensive headphone. It's the Sennheiser's flagship open back. My friend loves talking about the HD 800 and 800S. Never tried them. Uh, actually, no, I have tried them before, um, but never um, bought them, of course. They're really expensive. Um, HD 560S, I haven't tried those. Uh, 590, I have tried these ones, pretty good for the price. 569s. And the HT25s, which are actually pretty good for the price. Um, not that comfortable or not that well built, but they're com they're good for the price. So yeah, these are all pretty um, luxurious headphones. Shures, yeah, I really like Shures. 
Shrews are generally pretty good for the price. Um, the A40s, is these A40s? Oh yeah, A40 is pretty nice. I haven't tried the A40s. I have the 940s though. 940s are really, really good for the price. 1840s I have tried. Um, they're really pretty similar to the uh, Sennheiser HD 650s. So pretty similar. So pretty good for the price, I guess. Very reference sounding. Haven't tried the 240s yet. AirPod Max, haven't tried those yet. Someday I will, because my friends keep bugging me about doing the AirPod Max review. Um, very, very popular, obviously, because it's Apple. Um, Sony, I haven't tried these ones. I haven't tried these Sonys. No, I've, I've tried the Z7M2s, the Sony Z7M2s, but they're not here. Beats, haven't tried those Beats before. I'm not interested to try them. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's more Audio Technicas. What is this? More Audio Technicas. These are pretty high end. They're pretty high end. This is like over a thousand bucks or something. Hybrid. Yeah, more Technics. Okay, actually no. This is a. Maybe reading it wrong. It's a hundred or a thousand bucks. But anyways, they support more high end for them. So high end Technics earphones and uh, Audio Technica earphones. Audio Technicas are well, pretty good. ATH EW9. I think this is over two hundred bucks, which means this is over a hundred bucks. My bad if I got the Japanese reading uh, currency wrong, but and these are Shures, so Shures IEMs are pretty famous. The 215s, I've, I think I've tried the 215s before a long time ago. Um, they're fairly affordable. They're pretty good sound quality, and they're like more or less entry level, entry level audio file IEMs, pretty good. JVCs, is it pretty expensive JVCs here? No, they're not that expensive actually. Yeah. Actually, you, no, you know what? No, these are 400, these are 400 bucks, right? Yeah, okay, never mind. It's 400, 200 bucks for these JVC. They are pretty expensive, actually. I'm reading this wrong. Yeah, these are 600 bucks. These ones would be over 846. Okay, yeah, these ones would be over 1,000 bucks then. These are sure as top of the line, SC 846, that, which means that these Audio Technicas are really expensive. They're over 1,000 bucks. And these Techniques are really expensive too. Probably the top of the line. Yeah. Those are really expensive. <laughs> okay, Sennheiser. The IE100s, I've heard something about the IE600s. I haven't tried the IE600s, um, which I wanna try. IE100s are kind of their lower end stuff. Final audios, these are pretty expensive. These are ex almost 800 bucks for those. These are the B ones. Yeah, pretty expensive here. Yeah. Audio Technica, yeah. So you have some pretty expensive earphones and headphones here. Here, what do you have? Um, less expensive ones, I guess. Of course, the more expensive ones are going to be behind the glass shelf here. Um, okay, these ones are what? More cheaper Audio Technicas and Sonys and stuff. Sony, Sony, Sony. You got a Yamaha here. Yeah, Yamaha, this is pretty cheap, Yamaha. Yamaha does have a very high-end headphone. The YH5000 or something. These are more audio technicals that are cheap. Yeah, these are these are basically like very entry level headphones from Audio Technica here. Yeah, more entry level JVC. Yeah, these are all under 30 bucks. Yeah. Extreme explosive is JVC, okay. So what you guys can tell is that JVC Audio Technica and Sony make so many wide ranging headphones from very cheap ones like this to very um, you know expensive ones like up here. Yeah, these ones are all pretty expensive. I believe this one is over 2,000 bucks, the Z1R. Dang, that's really expensive. I don't think it's worth it, to, personally. I don't think that headphone is worth the price, but anyways, more music players here. I think that's it for uh, this section here. You know, more Beats, Studio Buds, Studio Buds. Power Beats, I haven't tried any of these. Beats Fruit Pro. Not interested to try any of them.